How's it going guys? Thanks for joining me in this video. In this video I'm going to be doing a startup just to kind of do this first startup on the Samsung Galaxy S6. Kind of get you through the activation part and getting your phone um, up, powered on, back to the home screen. So first thing you want to do is get to your power button over here on the right side. Go ahead and press it and hold it. You will hear a vibration and the phone will start turning on. And as I go through this startup system, there are several windows that take a little bit longer than others. And for those, I may pause the video just to kind of get through those segments. So this video, it might take you a little bit longer than what I show on the actual video to start up your phone. So just kind of keep that in mind as you guys go. As it is here, there is a couple loading windows that we are going through. Please wait while we prepare your phone. Then the startup window pops up. It asks you what language you want to start your phone up. I'm going to go ahead and use English because that's the one I am most proficient at. By tapping next or otherwise the phone, you will agree to the Samsung, Samsung's terms and conditions. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And then it says to get started, enter your last four digits of your account owner's social security number. Uh, this is something different. I think they are trying to start up your phone, getting it activated kind of through, it's pre-programmed. I'm going to type in my numbers just to see what happens. So there we have it. I have typed in my uh, last four of my social. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And are you ready to activate? I'm going to go ahead and hit and activate now. And it's saying, oh, we need to deactivate your old phone to activate this one. I actually don't want to activate it. I just went through that process to get me to this page that says use Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and use the Wi-Fi portion. There's just a little another note. I'm going to hit next. And it pulled up the Wi-Fi that I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm just going to type in my password. So give me a second. And now that I have my password typed in, I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. It's going to verify the password, check the internet connection, and it's going to go from there. So now that it is accepted, connected, I can hit next. You can connect any of your emails that you have. I'm just going to skip this step. It's just another step. I'll probably make another video of how to um, link a Gmail or a regular email account to the phone. That'll be in a different video, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that here. And it's going to be checking the connections. This may take up to two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause and see you in a bit. So there we have it. It's starting to kind of boot itself up. There was a screen. I was, wasn't was fast enough. A uh, screen that had skip and it takes skip through a couple more. And then this is just a little warning here. It's saying that if you have another Android device, you can copy your current setup. Um, I'm not going to do it, so I'm going to select no thanks. I'm currently on an iPhone, so... I uh, won't be using that. And then it's asking for um, for your Google Google information. If you have a Gmail, you can sign in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip that as well. And there's it's asking for a name. I'll skip that, leave that blank. Asking for a protect your phone for a password. I'm going to do no thanks. I don't want a password or a fingerprint. Uh, sometimes it just seems to be, get you know, it just becomes a hassle. So... Some Google services, scroll down and I'm going to hit next. Everything is set up. If you have missed anything, you can go in at this point to add it. Um, I am all done, so I'm going to select done. And then you can, if you have a Samsung account, you can start activating stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip that as well. Smart switch. So there we have it. I ha was successfully able to get the phone to the home screen. And while I'm here, I'm just going to kind of look around, browse real quick, just to kind of show you guys what the screens look like. So there is a the slide down from the top bar, uh, activation uh, incomplete. I didn't act activate the phone. It's just a regular startup to get to the home screen. It's connected to Wi-Fi, um, brightness, on and off. It kind of gives you an option. They have it in the middle. Um, a few more of the settings, just going to slide down here. Uh, Wi-Fi, location, sound, auto-rotate, Bluetooth, uh, stuff like that. There is a flashlight. I'll do a video on that, on that as well. 
So if you're interested in that, you can take a look about that later. Uh, pretty cool setup, not much different from the Galaxy S7. Um, and I do notice that it's kind of hard to see, so if you weren't able to see some of that, I'm sorry for the bad lighting. Uh, this was just more of a startup video than anything, but uh, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.